Hello and welcome to Win Win Live. I'm Sean McManus, editorial contributor at Telecom TV. Today I'm talking to River Huang, CTO of Huawei General Development Department, and Aaron Bozeman Patel, VP Innovation of TM Forum. They're here to share their experiences and insights on advancing technological innovations and accelerating the commercialization of autonomous networks level four. This time we have a special guest with us. Hi, Win Win. Win Win is an AI agent who will join our conversation today and bring us some unique insights. Mr. Huang, over the past year, the autonomous networks industry has developed rapidly and Huawei has been a key player in this. What is your outlook for 2025? Last year, AI Industrial released Level 4 Blueprint and the White Paper version 6. In the past six years, more and more CSPs publish AI strategy and study the practice. Many achievements have been made to improve operation efficiency, user experience, and resource efficiency. AI has become the best choice for global CSPs to promote network automation. Huawei has been an active player in AI industry. Over the past three years, we keep on researching on key technologies for Huawei ADN solution, contributing to industrial standards and validating solutions with our customers. Nowadays, driven by 5G advanced deployment, digital business clones, and transformation by GNI, telecom infrastructure is facing big network operation challenges. AN Level 4 will be the key, in our opinion. 2025 will be the beginning of AN Level 4 commercial deployment, and it will be a long-term process, including two-phase, single-domain autonomy in high-value scenarios, and multi-domain, multi-engine collaboration in complex environments. Following so many years of development, it must be exciting to be reaching those first commercial deployments. TM Forum has built an important platform for the development of the AN industry. Could you share how TMF plans to continue advancing the AN industry in the future? Absolutely. We've set up the AN Mission Board and we're working to expand the AN Manifesto to lead and drive the AN industry development. Commercialization and promotion are focusing really important on those high value scenarios. We're driving the commercial use and promotion of level four. Standards development are really critical for doing this, and we're collaborating with our industry partners to refine the relevant AN Level 4 standards, such as the Level 4 target architecture solution packages. So this is really key to driving the industry forward. Achieving Level 4 comes with many challenges, and there's still a lot of work to be done. As CTO, could you share your thoughts on the key technologies that need to be addressed? The breakthroughs in three key technologies are important to achieve Level 4, multi-model, engine, and the digital twin. The first one is the AI large model. Huawei provides telecom foundation model for our ADN solution. We are developing copilots for different rules, which can help to check network values, answer questions, and fix network faults. This improved operation efficiency and reduced the need for specialized skills. Only one large model can handle multiple scenarios provides comprehensive solution for both application and systems, thereby solving the problem of fragment AI capability. At the same time, we see the large model technologies are developing very quickly, such as DeepSeek. Huawei actively embrace them and continue to improve our intelligence capabilities. The second one is engine. We are developing engines for high value scenarios. This engine can realize network awareness reasoning, decision-making, and self-learning, and achieve a, a free or no human operation, and create a new level for operation mode. In order to build such engines, it's necessary to break through relative technologies, such as automatic planning and dynamic COT capabilities for unknown and complex scenarios. Online, experience import capabilities and future-oriented multi-engine collaboration capability, including autonomous team interconnection, distributed efficiency communication, and distributed dynamic collaborative control, and so on. The third one is about the uh, digital twin. As you know, we are building a holographic digital twin network to realize the grid, the target. We should build a multi-model space-time model based on kinds of network data, such as topology, log, sequence-based KPI, packet, and so on. 
this model can realize network converging awareness and provide more accurate real-time network simulation, fault prediction and prevention capability. Not only that, we should absorb the idea of world model in the field intelligent driving to generate a massive amount of high precision network data to continue to improve uh, the model's generation capabilities. Great. Across the large model, agents, and digital twin, it's clear you're making a lot of progress. Let's dig a bit deeper into the technologies. Large model technologies and agents are hot topics right now. How does TM Forum see the role of these technologies in enabling ANL4? Well, last year we, re we jointly released the AN Level 4 Industry Blueprint, where we introduced Gen AI into the AN Target Framework for the very first time. We've also established a general AI uh, working group, leveraging the collective power of industry partners to continuously improve those related technologies and standards. Through innovation projects like the Catalyst Programme, we're collaborating with our partners to explore and refine this application of those new technologies. It'll be exciting to see what new opportunities generative AI brings to the autonomous network. Huawei has been dedicated to advancing the key technologies needed for ANL4 and to promoting their application. Could you tell us about some of your collaborations with global operators? We are working with our customers on level 4 high-value scenarios innovation. We have deployed a Copilot and Engine with China Mobile in Guangdong and Zhejiang province and integrated them to, into daily operation to achieve automation with little human involvement. Bring huge improvement in operation efficiency. We are also working with other global leading CSPs like Vodafone, Singtel, and MTN to conduct a proof of a concept test. In the future, we are glad to work close with global industry partners to help CSPS achieve AN Level 4 target. It's a great roster of operators to be working with. Now, Win Win has prepared a special ending to wrap up today's discussion. Over to you, Win Win. Thank you all for joining us here at Win Win Live.